Hello? Oh god, it's so dark. And... Wabam, hello. If you can't hear, I have a really bad cold. And frankly, I'm not a fan of it. It broke out today. Oh, and I don't like it. Hello, today we're going to play Control. Which was gifted to me. Oh god, that's loud. What is Control? Uh, control is a, is a game where I... Um, I played a bit of it yesterday. You play as a character who is friends with some sort of like paranatural thing. Um, and there is, there's some sort of, um, um, you have your, you go, you got to look for your brother and you found like a government agency that deals with all of the like paranormal shit. And what what's happened so far is that I have somehow become the director of this for some reason. Um, the um, the janitor can read my mind. Uh, I I had I thought of a name for whatever is like invading the the government agency right now from like beyond, uh, and everything just became that. All the portraits of the former director became portraits of me when I became the director because they're just portraits of the director, so they just became me. And that's just how this paranormal world works. I have a gun that's alive. Uh, I have a floppy disks, floppy disk that grants me telekinesis. It's weird. It's spooky, but it's very, very good. And hopefully, uh, it, everything works. What's the resolution for today? No, we're gonna play on lower resolution. A normal resolution for normal people. Oh, that's too small. You may hear a cat screaming in the background. We're gonna leave the YouTube money play 4K. Listen! Render resolution resolution. Oh, come on. Just give me 1080p. Why can't I have 1080p? Listen, sponsorships are nice. It can be independent. Higher resolution screen, very more output resolution of the game. Why won't this work? Oh, I don't know what I clicked. Everything's probably fucked. Fucked. Oh no. What have I done? Oh no. Okay, well, 1080p. Let's, let's restart the game and maybe that'll work. Get the camera. Okay, let's. Oh, oh, hang on. Let me, let me, let me see. Well, she ran, she ran under the bed. Tita! Tita! Hey! Yo. Come! Tita! Tita! Well, oh, she doesn't want to. She wants to run around and be a scamp. But hopefully she, she'll, she might run around. Okay, video game. You wanna to behave today? Well, I'm not gonna play with you, but you're gonna bite me. Tira, come. Michelle. Tira. Tira, come. 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 Yo, Yo. Goose. 
Da. No, she's doing her kitten thing of smelling my hand and then immediately going like To be big and scary. Are you big and scary? Yes, you are. No, don't bite my cable, please. Don't bite my cable. No, I need that. <sighs> I'm, um, as you can hear, I'm dealing with stuff. I'm dealing with stuff. Does the game work? No. Yes. <laughs> but I don't think it's intended to be. No, it's still in 4K. That's fine. I can't get it to work in 1080p, but this should work fine because the render resolution is lower. The graphics are a bit lower because this is an intense game. Yeah. No, don't eat. Don't eat my lamps. Yeah. This is gonna be. There might be cat content. Can you hear it, the music and stuff from the game? Let me know if the let me know if the the volume is okay. Yeah. No. Okay. She's gonna hang out under my bed for a little bit. She'll come out. I'll pause the game and come off of it. Do you have the sniffles? Yes, I have. Uh, I'm, I have a cold. What are we in for? We're in for spooky shit. Tira! Hey! Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Yes, you are. Are you a cutie? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, you're such a cutie. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this to work. No, don't bite my cable. <laughs> You're gonna eat my hair? Baby. She is very small. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put you outside now. I know. I know you don't want to, but you're gonna run around and eat my cables otherwise. And you can't eat my cables, because if you eat my cables, you'll get sick. I know you don't want that. You don't. I'm gonna put you outside. No, no, no. Tira. Tira. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? He's trying to break down the door now. The cat name is Tira. It's not my cat, it's my roommate's cat. The cat play, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, as your scapegoat, got it, got it, what? Okay. Okay, let's play the spooky game. This is me, this is my character. The game is very loud. Okay. 
What's my objective again? Speak with Emily. Right, I've talked to the board of of this, which is um, which appears to be some sort of like big uh, ethereal triangle. Have I been in here? I have not. People hanging, hanging around, literally. Got any lore for me to read? Maybe. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us, ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices. Another phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I've experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's suspicion call. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that Years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below. They only found the body when the housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It's Tira. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, am I sick? Yeah, I have a cold. Have it, listeners. I have a cold, so I'm drinking my tea. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, <laughs> something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors. Okay, well, look, he's just talking about like spooky, sp spooky, scary skeletons. Where am I going? I mean, this is obviously useless, so I have to look at signs. And I have to go to the boardroom, which doesn't seem to be this way. And over here's the mail room, which also doesn't seem to be anything, so... Then, uh, yeah, I've been in the mail room. Well, I don't know what that's about. Why are they coming back? I, I, I've been here. Do enemies respond to something? Whoa! I had no idea enemies respawn. The shit? area because this is this is giving me nothing to fight science well if 
feel like I've been to the executive room before, right? So, I mean, we're just exploring. I have to, like, find my... Find my angle. What is this? I have no idea where I am right now. But you know what? That's okay. Sometimes you don't have to know where you are. Oh my god, die. Oh, whoops. Oh my god. randomly spawn almost anywhere. Okay. What did I call it? Case files. Hotline. Oh, this is the hotline. Uh, hot, so, uh, basically, this is the SCP Foundation. If you don't, if you know about the SCPs, this is basically based on SCP Foundation. You can hear her. She wants to get in. She wants to play. No, I don't. I can't. I'm streaming. I know. I can't. Object is a nine. Uh, fuck. Object is nineteen sixty-seven. Right. Back a light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob for unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object is directed to communicate with the board. Probably. If it is of anyone that uh, would kill anyone except for the director, currently about to director Trench. Not about to, to me. It manifested in the director's office, placed on a desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. The origins remains unknown. Uh, hotline. Have we seen this? Ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well, our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Interesting. It's America Overnight. We saw that. We saw the Threshold Kids. Hotline. What? Man, hang on. So this is Trench. Have I seen this? a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director of fighting Northmore before me. And the glimpses, oh. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be Interesting that this um, that this bureau chose to to have its headquarters inside of this like weird house. It'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling is right about that. He's wrong about everything else. I really like this game, like a lot. I'm very happy that a fan gifted it to me. Does he mean 
But I don't know anything about it. But this is me, so I'm curious to see what that is. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Thankfully, they're pretty short. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy project right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Find it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. Can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. I'm always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud. So he's like getting old. Yet. Or manipulated the by hotline. like stuff reach the and he doesn't trust line. people anymore but he trust he only he can only trust the hotline because that's like him and the board i remember him talking about like needing a team i'm very glad that they're like only 90 seconds long a director needs a team things Why are happening in the game you should always listen to full hotline messages it won't help but it's the secrets oh. of the bureau as well as i do hello some even better they have proven themselves Darling, What's this game about? Sorry. Very good question. Uh, I'm trying to find my brother who was like taken by a weird government agency that deals with um, paranormal shit. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. Norton Moore hated my. I can't let you in. But things change when you become director. No, you're gonna bite my cable. You suddenly see this. I know. Dark Void for the horror show it truly is, filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my face. I did show the cat earlier in the stream. The roses I pruned in the garden. Is it the cat in my room? No, she's outside. Family. She's outside in my bedroom. She has the whole rest of the apartment to run around in. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. go wrong and my team has to pick up the pieces damage control i feel so to bad <laughs> but also like i have to i have to do this like first of all it's not my cat and second of all like she she can't um i can't encourage her to like to be rewarded for screaming like i have to actually learn she, I have to like sort of train her. Like I, I not my cat, so I'm not gonna train her. But like it's, I don't, I don't want to reward bad behavior. You know. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Get the train. Yeah, they can. Definitely, hundred percent. The same. Anywhere. Like she's a kitten, so she screams a lot, and um, basically when she's like scratching stuff or like screaming outside of doors, then. I can't reward her for that because I, that's not that's not good behavior. So I have to I have to ignore her and not be cool. But like she she um she 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 knows after like she she'll she'll scream for a bit, but then she'll then she'll okay. Natalie plays Pokemon with Pikachu in her arms. Is Pikachu the name of a pet or like some sort of toy? They're still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there, okay. The board. Even the board. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in, okay. Last one, I think. This one's slightly longer. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. 
worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau and everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of the attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. Is this full motion videos? Yeah, it is. I have, um... I'm slowly learning how to make games, and I'm currently making a sort of pr uh, prototype. It's not good. It's never gonna come out. But I'm making a prototype for a city builder game in the style of Tropico. Uh, but with but with command and conquer controls for the military, and um, I'm planning to have full motion video in that too, <laughs> because it's easier for me to do. Because I know how to make videos. I don't know how to make fucking cutscenes and shit. We'll see if it ever comes out. I doubt it will, but I want to make that. I want to make a Tropico game, but that's not Tropico. But that's not Tropico because Tropico is very limited. I want to make a Tropico game that I can, I, where I can make my own DLC, and that has a bit more like intricate political systems and shit. Okay, well, I don't know what that's all about. Hello, lore. Data breach. No, this is his. Data breach. Oh, On-site server experience intrusion or otherwise user. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that only Dr. Donald Prensation uses it. Appeared as the following confirmed identities of these user projects. Students. Rubens Nugera Alto Kulameki. Christmas Rying Yaku Sarinen. Okay. So someone hacked the servers. Part of the conspiracy? Also, what are these workstations are wild as hell. Look at this. Where did I enter? I'm guessing here. Can I enter here with my clearance? I can. Lore. Uh, drafting any public facing material. Well, pending notifications. Uh, yeah, don't. Uh, we've read that. Finish music. No, can I go in there? No, 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 cannot. Tis moldy. I can't go back there. Okay, I need to. I need to find the control point I was at earlier and do some teleporting. I'm completely lost where I am. Okay. F. Fast travel. To. The ladders are is up there, so I've already been up there. And Hotline Chamber is down here, so I've been here too. This map is bad. Okay, Central Executive. I mean, it's supposed to be bad. Because it's a weird house that fucks with you. CIA Coop Simulator. I think it would be nice to put a lot of detail into this. They did, and I, I like that. I like games that do that. That's the boardroom. I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Sorry, you made it. I'm just gonna explore. Emily. Let's talk. Of course. House memory. Lore? Uh, initial encounters with Anthony knows a hiss has revealed various behavioral effects. The hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, all items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Any person wearing one of the wearable HRA, Dr. Dahl has assumed over the past weeks and has been affected by the corruption. The only exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to his. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so unconscious of oh, his, I have dismissed this theory. Compiled by Emily Pope. My father is Mr. Faden. She's able to cleanse. 
description. It says there's a building on his course. I did about torture the process to kill the host. Perhaps the host was alive. There's a lot of that. More work to be done. Her to fall. Oh, at least they're doing their paperwork really well. Mm, okay, let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what you're saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding I what they more myself. Is. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Janitor. Department of Maintenance. Seems to be crops down here. At least I'm, I'm glad I can revisit all the areas at least, so I don't have to like worry about missing something. So I can come back later and collect collectibles and shit because I like doing that. Mm, that looks funky. Some floating in, uh, maintenance workers, I'm guessing. Oh god, I got a bunch of stuff. Upgrade and unlock new abilities from the control point. That sounds fun. Oh, is this the all of the directors? Or people from like from the board? And that's trench up there. And I'm guessing the one with the red thing is supposed to be mine. All the other pictures have my face has gotten stuff like that. Um Hi, Jesse. Oh, I can talk to her. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. That's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with 
openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Interesting. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? I'm way too sick for this. <laughs> Thanks. What? HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them so out. Dr. Darling knows well, something I began analyzing about this. As soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Right. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Okay, so talk to her. And there's a new thing that I can pick up here. Wasn't there? What? Oh, I can see it. No, it's not that. That's not it. Right. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Sheep hop? I'm confused. I'm getting... Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. They say that we direct you on objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. We never would want I have some sort of ability now. <laughs> Using these round things. Okay. Launch grenades and rockets back then. Yeah, look, the launch thing seems very practical. 50 launch damage, melee damage, energy. I do like more energy. No, like, I'm gonna get even more launch damage. Additional weapons? Ooh. And then using essence, I can reset these abilities. Okay. Astral constructs. So I can use source, undefined readings, and house memory. So I can make shatter. Uh, Shadow has a high seven power with a scatter shot that uh, devastates a group of enemies to the close range. Cool. Can I make mods? I can make my own mods. I can upgrade mods. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, but that's okay. Um, board counter. What? Also, these are like um, quests. Like challenges. The service in pierce mode. Using spin. Kill enemies with the service in shatter mode. Well I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. Kill enemies in charge mode. 
and charge. I don't have charge, but I do have the other one. Outfits. I have civilian outfits. Because I am a civilian. How do I... No. I forgot how to access the menu. There we go. So I can add... So shatter for these exclusive to shatter spread or recoil so less spread let's have less spread the stopping doesn't even look for trenches missing management teams in another sector it's the main sector to find the direction so i'm gonna lift the lockdown okay <clears throat> i'm sorry for being like Hella not smart today. Hope has asked us to document the use of the Do you mean like in person? Okay. Dying to work meet me in the main Vitanus. Okay, Ati. Cool, I can just take the elevator to, to the main Like I said before, the janitor is a good case. Uh, the... His attacks can occur even in previously visited locations. Yeah, I, I figured that out. God, I'm cold. I'm gonna make more tea before bed. <laughs> oh, the tea hit good. Hello. I'm so glad I made a video recently so I can take a few days off. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Oh, with Maybe F. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Oh. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Maybe. NCS control room. How's the map looking in this place? Great! I mean, sometimes, I, sometimes when I play these games, this is why I have a hard time playing, um... Like straight up story games because I always feel like I'm missing some that I'm missing something, which I shouldn't. MCS control room, that's good. Let's check this out though. I don't think I have close level two. I do not. Can can't I just um yeah. Wasn't that hard? I love that I can do that. Unless you reviewed by Catherine Lopez. Oh yeah, they had a book club. Most of the young adult novels in front of the coming Rachel or without her contrary dystopian settings or tragic romance. And unless you managed to do both. And they find try to find a fire so the time is really killing her and spreading across the world. So they carry the gone expedition to dangerous and short territories to people all live into world cities now because of disposal in the future. Along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually ever fixed. The ending was bold, especially for young adult. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but the job can still be done. She dies in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses her goal. That's a good soldier's death. Three out of five. I feel like most teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I recommend it to my brother's kids. Huh, ah, look at that. Hit. Oh. oh, I missed this one. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. From Marshall to Tomasi. Internal logins are mainly triggered by events. The events that lock one 
or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override in maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal, nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security or research slapped together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high level clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as directly overrides, so it's not the same as documentation. I know it's confusing as hell, a toad dotting a hundred times to change it, uh, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure all our staff understand how this staff works. Um, we, we saw that one. Board countermeasures. We are at war. The hiss is the opposing force. We will provide countermeasures. Ingest them at control points. These countermeasures missions will benefit you. We will give you resources, rewards, for each completed countermeasure. Hey. Right. Says itself. I like how I can just blast the window. Sleep? I'm not. I'm not gonna sleep. Get some rest. I will get some rest later. There's a hidden thing in maintenance that's coming up. You might want to find. If I if I completely just uh, beef it and just don't see it, uh, let me know. Cause I, I don't want to miss too much. I mean, once I once I finish the game, I'm I'm gonna like come back here. I think, like I'm just gonna walk through the entire game with like a walk through, so I can get all the collectibles and shit. The directorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? We have some some lads that I'm probably gonna have to kill. Can't. No. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, I like this gun. Cleanse. Oh, shoot a bang bang. It's just ages to see everything. Yeah, I know, sometimes it's like not it's not that puzzly, which I'm not the best happy about, but you know. to see what I can shoot. Well, I mean, I can shoot everything, I guess. Can't find your office? Watch your stuff. Confusing ass workplace. Bunch of tools. Oh, there's a can thing over there that I don't want to do. Oh god!
This box is clearly too fragile. <laughs> Of Etty on it, which makes me think that's probably Etty's office. A merit chase. Investigate the light in the break room. I can do that. Oh, that's. Chase the merry-go-round horse object of power. What? Oh, the walls here are funky as hell. God, imagine playing this game only. An object of power. Acid or some shit. How do you think it got down here? What the fuck is this? Well. Oh, it's cool. I don't die. That's that's nice of me. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Mind developed with the carousel horse. Cleanse the merry-go-round horse. Oh, just what on earth? But it's a game teaching you to find hidden things. Oh, this is the hidden thing? Oh, the cool as hell. Control to evade. The horse choo choo follows you. Use it. Prove. Escape yourself. The choo choo. Rip. There we go. Just a crushed. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Okay. Oh god. You have been approved. You and the horse are now friends for life. <gasps> the horse. Am I friends with the horse now? That's cool. I like that. Okay. Well, now that, that now there's more reasons for like uses for my. Uh, Energy, you know, like that. Why is this so light? And I fell off. Would be held to play with motion sickness? Yeah. And I fell down in the break room again. Neat. Any. Any more loot? No. I'm glad though, I'm kind of waking up from playing this, which is nice. Oh no. Time to be weirded out again. Or is it? Or is it? 
It's a weird, crazy <laughs> Black Pyramid is a massive motive. The light goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. Is that a mushroom cloud or a tree? Well, that's terrifying. Avoid modern technology. Hey, that's not my gun. This is my gun. I like this gun a lot. Uh, I I done I did this one right. Go to central executive to crack your world. Okay, let's go. Well, I don't need to track assets. Don't know what this is. I can deal with that later when I reach. Some power shit. Um, yeah, well, okay. Well, I'm gonna explore all of this anyway. Eventually, like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find my way. So let's go to the janitor's office. Talk to Etty. If he is here, hello, Etty. Well done. You got it. Place for congratulations. Yippee, Salaman. Yippee, it Satan. happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Last time he heard our thoughts. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Pericula. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first... I just walked in a circle that a poster up here, where it wasn't before. What? Small of hours. Oh my god. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. If someone wins the ongoing event, would you like to say or this is no politics? Let me know, because I'm not looking at the at the thing. I want to know what happens. I want to know if someone wins. <laughs> One way or another. And I can either celebrate by doing something fun or distract ourselves from ongoing terror by doing something fun. Mikila sat on Perkele Sauron. The uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Perkele. Perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up and we all disappear like a part in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. To fix the coolant pumps and the power generators. I'm not sure how much Finnish uh, English speaking people are exposed to on a, on a daily basis. Don't but you worry. I've left you clear instructions. This is not that uncommon in Sweden because Finland used to be part of the Swedish Empire. So we have a large Finnish population. The We're in neighbor countries. The task board here. You can do later when you have time. Vacation. The pension. Right. Is feeling the band around his head. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. Okay, so too. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Ati. So me. Satan. Okay, so I can just go through here. Lower. Work order. Burn yep. the trash. Burn Throw the trash the around grass. the... Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. Right. So where's the maintenance furnace chamber? That's over there. But let's go do 
because that's one of these things. So let's just let's do this one first. So untrack that. No, no way. What? Mission briefings. Find a way to disable. Yes. This is what we're doing. Right. Time for coffee break. Neat. Got some armor recovery shit, and it's always nice. This used to be open. This room has changed. Cause this used to No, no, never mind. I'm 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 stupid. Whatever. Got loot. No lore though? Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take off this equipment outside the building. Right. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. That really says itself, doesn't it? I feel like I should go to the hotline and talk to the board about some things. Oh. I like this, I like the little depot. Oh, lore? Escape. Oop. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye for it. If anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, let me immediately. Don't bind it to yourself. Well, I bound it to myself. So now I can do that. Neat. I have no idea where I'm going. Well, I'm heading in the right direction anyway. And there's some people here. Look at that. Something over there. What is that? It is a place of power. That's why my my friend, whoever my friend is, is like, hey, come vibe with me. I have ability points, so let's get some cool ability points. I can increase damage of launch. I can multi-launch. Oh my god. Um, energy. Let's get more energy, first of all. Yes, that's a lot of points. Well, I like having energy, so. Let's talk to Arish. Hey, hey, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I don't care. Floor. From Salvador. Got your message. If anyone is inside to asking about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. There's no circumstances any personal interfere with his day-to-day -day routine. So everything I know about him, so you better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Yeah, so people know about Ati and he's weird. Skin is giving me Stanley Parable vibes, aesthetically. Yeah. Power plant design reminds me of the ma maker reactor from Final Fantasy. I don't know what that is. Do none of the security guys have a picture of the director that has changed? You'd think so. But apparently not. Hello. I'm the director. They all left the RAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC security. I'm just... Hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. 
mail. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have the chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing. <laughs> Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. So, of a bar do we derive power he from, like, an... How he only had one from an object of power? HRA, from a noob. It somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Yeah, but well, listen, I figured that out. questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the What do you, Mitch? Not much. I'm just exploring the game. Of. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure. It's never mentioned the outdrive, what it is. Check the more carefully. I read all the lore sure that I get. Faith in his boss. So. Try to stay alive. Try to stay alive. Dude. Lore? Loot. Gimme loot. Hello? Hello? No. Okay. Well, I mean, this is clearly a containment chamber of some sort. Like, I figured that before I knew it was a power plant. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's... something's up. What on earth? I'm guessing these are, like, replacement parts in case everything goes to shit. Elevator. Good to know where that is. Right. So, where do I go now? Director Faden. Do I go to the elevator, maybe? Director Faden. Uh, coolant pumps and energy converters. Well, let's go check the coolant pumps. Just to make sure that the power plant doesn't go boom. Or whatever the problem was. I'm kind of having some trouble keeping up with the lore. Um, I'm very stupid. What the shit is this? Okay, so they just explode, huh? That's what they do? I see how it is. Well, that's horrifying. They shouldn't be lying around just willy-nilly. This is an unsafe working environment. I'm calling OSHA. Cooling water. Cooling pumps. Cooling pumps. Furnace chamber! I need to do something there. I have to throw everything into the fire. What's that quest? Help at the burn the trash around the furnace. I can do that. If there's a furnace here, I can do that. Lord? Health recovery. Personal mod. What what mod do I have right now? Energy recovery speed. I don't I don't use that much energy. Energy launch costs. Health recovery per element pickup. I might do that. 20%, 28%. Okay, so they vary a little bit. Okay. Uh equip. And then let's deconstruct these smaller ones because I'm not going to use these. These energy recovery speeds, I can do that too. Energy boost, don't need that. I have three of these, I don't need that. Like, I can I can unlock that later. How do I do that? I have to upgrade shit. Well, that's a level two, I'm happy about that. Do I have something level two for this? New. 
Right. Okay, well I'm learning. That doesn't sound right. It's like Portal 2. A little bit, I think. It's like Half-Life. This is a place of power, I think. Hello. Yeet. Oh no, it's the Explody Boys. Oh, you're not an Explody Boy, you're a Flight Boy. You're an Explody Boy. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well, let's, uh... I saw, I saw two dabs. I see it. Thank you for the dabs. If it's not, show, if it's not showing up, then I don't know what's up. Am I playing with RTX on? New. No, I turned that off. I think. Do you have Ultimate Edition? I do have the Ultimate Edition. Yes. Coolant pumps. Furnace chamber. Yes. This is one hell of a furnace though, honestly. So like just breaking some environmental regulations but that's what you want. Then I'll get it done. I'm not gonna argue against the some sort of demigod or whatever Ati is. I mean, he's something. This is a very unsafe furnace, I'm just saying. If your light is derived from the burning of, like, hazardous materials, that's, that's a bad... It's a bad... It's a bad, um... Planning. Mm, there you go. Just gonna... Yeet. Uh, no, those are normal barrels. Oh, there's stuff down here too. Look at that. Boop -boop 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 -boop. Lore. Hello? Lore? Mail tube complaint. Hey, Bowser, get this. The accounting department still say they haven't received my expense report. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or threshold or some fuckery and that I don't have the original, original stake and verify my expense for reimbursement. That's such bullshit. Why do you even use these fucking tubes if you just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I made a phone complaint. Useless piece of shit. <laughs> Garbage day. Apparently. Well, that's not really what I wanted to do, but there we go. I think that's one more, and then I have Yot. Oh, the trash. I see something. Hello.
Did you manage to pinpoint this issue uh, loading? Yes. Is that it? Did I do it? Missions. I did it. So I've done this one. I just have to because the server extracted. So I've done that. Okay, cool. I'll take out the trash. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. I will be. That's cool. I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. The furnace can speak. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. Um. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that. Oh, that's dark. Okay, so it, um, this furnace eats people. Also, that doesn't look, that don't look right. Can I jump up? No, no I just fly around weird. That's okay. I have done my task, I believe. Let's visit the cooling pumps. Which are apparently in some sort of cave system. Oh, this is oh, this is full of OSHA violations. They, these are not structural supports. This place is gonna come down. Well, I'm doing the cooling pumps. Spooky plant. Oh, oh, oh! oh no, you don't. This. I got myself some cover. Oh, you, you bitch. <laughs> oh, Christ. Um, Sophie from Kuro uh, once said that this game has mastered. You ass. Oh, I'm doing a monologue. One said that this game mastered the sort of like force, the force energy. Talk to the furnace. This is so creepy. SCP, the, the strong SCP vibes. I love it. Is that a Finnish saying of some sort that I just haven't heard about? Okay. Uh. And there we go. Now we have some spooky noise. Oh, I don't like you. You explode, I don't like you. Go away. I'm gonna carry you, I'm gonna throw you over there so I can use you later for something else. Because hmm. I think. Oh, this is locked off, that's great. We're just saying this, in this too. I would like that. Like, now you have shat in the blue locker. Investigate what's blocking the pump. Oh, cool, I did it. Oh, 
my old enemy to clog. What is, what, what is I just doing? Like, oh my god, come down. Oh, you don't want to do that? I see how it is. so much it's such a satisfying and just yot okay well I'm gonna head out investigate the clog well oh that doesn't look right at all well I died that's not great I'm all the way back here. Oh, I hope I don't have to do everything again. Oh, fix the cold pumps. Wait, didn't I fix them all? I don't like that sound. Do, 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 do. Maybe someone broke when I died or something like that. At least there's not like more enemies here, so I can just like hang out for a bit. And a secret. Okay, well, let me check the one over there. That one's good. Like, they all seem to be fine. Oh, there's a room over there. Can I go in there? Oh, there's something following me. I don't like that at all. Oh, I didn't get it. 